back everyone to the continuation and hopefully finalization of the DFIR Red Team's tools uh, exercises on the Let's Defend platform. Last video we knocked out the Red Team tools exercise and we're going to tackle number two. Oh, good, we had a honeypot installed. Hooray! Alex HP. Heaven forbid, heaven forbid somebody actually figure out it's not an actual piece of HP equipment. Hey, that services is back again. And the public. Okay. All right. Sorry, just cleaning up my notepad. Okay, so we're dealing with Alex HP for Honeypot. 172, 16, 17, 55. Uh, it's a Windows honeypot. Oh. Yeah, Q. No. <laughs> Stylefix.co, guillotine cross. It looks like an ammo tit domain, honestly. Google permitted COVID nineteen. Coronavirus. CNN. YouTube, yay! Eighty, eighty. Mm. From Cert Util, huh? <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we found our dirty. Oh, okay. Events. 325, 326, 327. So CertUtil um, is for handling uh, certificates on Windows boxes. It has been known to go through and be used to um, download files. Anything terribly, terribly. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. I know it's all put in there still, but realistically, I'm really never gonna come back to it. I just. All right, so it was bottom. So it'll cert util. So, but at least we have ideas in regards to. The files we need to effectively look at, assuming we can, and then we have nothing for that one, which is okay. Well, this is December. So twelve, twenty one, twenty twenty, at thirteen hundred. Thirteen, seventeen hundred, and fourteen, eighteen hundred. Again, continuing my use of the twenty-four hour clock. Okay, what kind of questions are they wanting on this one? What is the command and control IP address? 
That's gonna be two two one one eight one one eight five two hundred. Maybe? Yes. You find out what country the attack was from. I could try. <laughs> Good old Talos Intelligence. Ooh, look at that. China. Oh, wait. That's not what I want. I wanted a number two. Yay! Okay, so I'll have to put this in then. So when I go and do the actual notes section of the video. <sighs> of course, not that effective. It gives it away too. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Can you find the name of the tool that was used to gather information about the system? Well, let's go find Alex. Let's just do a quick looky-loo. Yep, right there. There's the commands to sit there and kick off cert util to pull down services. Hey, look. User named Alex with a hard to crack password. I'm so. To gather information about the system. System info. Built into Windows to be ever so helpful. For all your poning needs. No? Interesting. Ten, 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 ten on port eighty. Wish we never seen any sort of communication like that. I really figured it would have been system info, but Share, process, hmm, that looks suspect as all hell. Maybe? Yeah. What's the name of the query language used to collect information about the system? You find this user's password. Yes, command history. Go back to that. Hard to crack. Do you find the name of the tool used for privilege escalation?
There really ain't no match for it at all, huh? Uh, of course not, because, you know, let's not make this easy. Still don't have a MD5 for that. Alsace. Are those. Look fine. Probably just spinning my wheels on it. I don't know why I keep going back to that. Of course I have it. information about the system. Yeah, so pretty much all those executables are good to go except for I suppose in the breach. Was it Pico again that uh, talked about the tools? Yeah, so we're looking for something, something for privilege esque. Privilege escalation. Directory exchange, windows, windows, exchange. Well, fairly certain it's not running exchange. And it is Windows 10. I suppose there's any way in hell that's actually valid. It's download malware on an active running system.
too much to hope for. <sighs> Suppose you know of anything that was there at one time that you would care to share. Maybe. Some of us is piping hot. Okay, how about anything that basically takes us back into December? Specifically, we're gonna go back to the 21st. Nothing that goes back that far. But looks like this sucker does have a uh, history of making brute force attempts. By the looks of it. So are these just IP addresses then? Yeah, so that's not going to help us much. SSH Honeypot Authentication Attempt. So if we turn this around for the source address to be... Nothing. Okay, well, I mean, it's where I could stab, as it were. Definitely does not look. Because it's all 443 80, 80, 80. Style fix. Um. Analysis, what is it? Uh, URL Hoss. Granted, it's from the 19th, but it's in the logs. Yeah, so it is MO10. Which none of those even look remotely familiar to anything that's on the system. So I'm assuming this is going to be in an entirely separate section. Query language. Hmm. 
I must be missing some aspect to it. Oh. Back pillow. Uh, string, send, blah, 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 blah. Because it looks like all this activity is for the 21st. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. shot just to see Whoop. destination address nada okay so we're basically just hitting the the point of nothing we're not getting anywhere else stalling out Two aspects pulling cert util. No idea though about a CVE because we're not seeing. <sighs> what the hell? Put in Google. When in doubt. C sharp. Yeah, I can't say that I've ever tried to do any sort of programming in C sharp. But that seems to be what she's telling me. So, when in doubt, I mean, it's not like it's going to hurt us. Subset of SQL, so what, like MySQL? And where are they getting that from? Login server. So would that mean that it is using the um was it zero login or whatever it was that was released that a little bit ago? What is the C V E? Yeah, so it is the zero login. Can you find the name of the tool used for the privileged escalation? Sharpen zero login. Sharp zero login. So we come over here and we say yes, no? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 
Sharp Utils, open source collection of Red Team Utilities. Credential Stealer. Impact. C sharp. Exploitation, but we're looking for That's right, I forgot. Go back and forth. <laughs> okay, let's take stock. We've only got two questions left out of the seven that are here. Subset of SQL. main subset, data control language, data definition. Okay, so if we go back to PICUS and there's two hits for DDL, but it's just basically man in the middle. Oh, DDL. Yeah, that would kind of make an important thing there if you're... Oh, I did do DDL. Um, DCL? This one was what? DML. No. Sixty four. 
Wait. WMI classes. Is it? WMI? Is that a subset of SQL? No, apparently not. The other information about the system. I remember seeing that actually in there. WMI spy. So let's try that. Oh, okay. So if you're going to use WMI spy by chance, WMI spy, there we go. WQL. Windows querying language. <laughs> okay, well, that works. There we go. And there is apparently the completion of DFIR Red Team Tools 2. I will see everybody in the next video.